class example 3.24 gives us five exponential curves, here all demonstrating decay, meaning they are falling to the right, and asks us to associate each graph number to the corresponding exponential function, a, b, c, d, or e. This question is testing one key concept. When the base is smaller, will the curve be steeper or flatter? And it's important to recognize that the answer is different in the cases where the base is between 0 and 1 and when it's greater than 1. Let's talk about how these base values compare to a base of 1, which is not in fact an exponential function. Consider for a moment if we could have a base of 1 and write the equation y equals 1 to the x. This would appear as a horizontal line with a height of 1. Now consider the five graphs given. Which of these is most like this flat line? The answer is graph 1. It is the flattest and most like y equals 1 to the x. From this, we can determine that because graph 1 is closest to 1 to the x, it should be the one with the base closest to a value of 1. Comparing 1 half, 1 eighth, 1 quarter, 2 thirds, and 3 quarters, we find that 3 quarters is the largest of these numbers and the closest to 1. It makes sense then that the smallest base will correspond to the steepest curve, the one furthest from being y equals 1. This is function b, y equals 1 8 x. The other answers are filled in in descending order by magnitude of the base. Note, if we worked with bases larger than 1, the smaller base, that is to say a base like 1.5 or 2 to the x, would be closer to the flat line than a larger base like 10 or 300. That's why when we have bases larger than 1, the smaller values are flatter and closer to being the horizontal line, and the larger base values show those sharp, steep climbs.